Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Cosmos, and welcome back to another video on my channel, my friends. In today's video, I'm going to be hitting you guys up with the ultimate guide to Ascension, my friends. And if you guys haven't already checked out my Origins Ultimate Guide, make sure you do go ahead and do that. Also, like and subscribe on this video right here. Without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. So basically guys, I'm going to start off by giving you guys a bit of a tour around the map. Kind of like a, a tour guide, you guys know what's up. But uh, let me give you guys a bit of a tour around the map. And basically, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to be walking around the map, telling you guys where to go. And then after that, I'm going to be uh, guiding you guys how to turn the power on, how to turn on Pack-a-Punch, and all the stuff that you need to know uh, for this map, guys. So first of all... This is where you spawn in at the sport room here. As you see, there's not really much here. We got the Cosmodrome thing there, and that moves every now and then, and it could kill you. So just try and stay out of the way of that. But if you keep going up these stairs that I'm going up here, you'll be able to find the first door that you can exit. You can also exit down through there. But we're going to come up through here today. There's two ways you can go through here. I'm going to show you guys the left way first. There's nothing much really through here, but... There's a few perk locations and also a lander location. So this is one of the places that we can go through this place right here. And there is obviously stamina up there. But we didn't really care about this place. We want to go through here and open this door. And as we go through here, there's also a box location. Uh, and there is also a lander location there. You can just go call the lander just by activating this uh, little board switch here. And the lander will end up coming over to this area. Another place you can go to is if we get back out of this area that we're in right now. We can get back out of here and we can just continue down back to where we came from. So if we keep going through the way we came past Stamina, we can come back to where we started, right about here. And if we go through the right way, which I'd recommend you guys going through this right way before you go to the left way. So if we come up here... This is kind of the main hub of the map, I guess you'd say. There's an RK5 wall by right there. And there's also a pretty sick training spot up here that I think has actually been nerfed. But once again, you can call the lander here. And uh, that will come and spawn right there for you. But that's uh, really about it around this area here. But there's also another door we can open through here. Also, our uh, Widow's one is up there. It is replacing the PhD spot. But that's up there just for if you want to know that. So, uh, we, there's a door right there that I'm pointing at right now. You don't have to go there. I would recommend you guys to come up here to power. As we see, there's like a little power sign there. But if we just continue up these stairs right now, we can keep going up these stairs and it will get the pack-a-punch. Um, not the pack-a-punch, the power button. And all you gotta do is just turn that on. Obviously, I've already turned that on for you guys. And the box location always spawns here for the first time. So you can go ahead and uh, hit up that box. Go grab whatever you get from it, and then you can continue on. If you come down through here, we can come down through here, and there's a few ways we can go. We can jump straight out of this area right here, and land around where the Pack-a-Punch area is. I'll show you guys that later. But there's another way that you can come through. So we can come through over here, past Meal Kick, and this takes us up to Speed Cola. And our last location for the lander spots is right where I am right now. We can just call the lander once again to our location. There's also a sickle by, uh, wool by here, so you can go ahead and buy the sickle. It's kind of like the bow knife. It's really, really good, and I'm glad they brought this back in this DLC. So that is also there as well. We keep continuing down this area over here, my friends. Uh, we can just go straight down to the Pack-a-Punch area. I'll show you guys how to turn a Pack-a-Punch later in this game right now. Accidentally, I actually, I actually do not have Pack-a-Punch open. So, but if we do come down here, Pack-a-Punch will be open and you can just walk through there. And as we see, the Pack-a-Punch location is there. So guys, this is basically about it. This is all around the map right here. As we see, this is, if we come back through here, this is just leading us to the main hub of the map. Once again, the little training location up here. But guys, this is about it in the map. It is a pretty small map, obviously, because it's Black Ops 1. And back on the old uh, games and all that, you couldn't really have the biggest maps because uh, you, they, they just didn't really fit. But guys, now I'm going to show you guys like the main tutorials of the map and basically everything that you need to do, how to turn on Pack-a-Punch, how to get the power and everything else, my friends. So without further ado, guys, let's continue on into the video. Alright dude, so now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys how to turn on Pack-a-Punch and also how to turn on the power. So guys, the power is pretty simple to turn on, it's just the normal power switch as you guys may have seen in the start of the video. But basically what you want to do to get to the power is just go 
up the stairs uh, past the main hub that I was talking about at the start of the video again. So if you keep continuing down where I'm going in the gameplay, you'll go up and you'll find the power switch at the top of the stairs and you can just go ahead and turn that on. So once you've done that, the whole area will be colourful and it won't be black and white anymore. So then you will be able to now start to turn on the Pack-a-Punch. You can do this in one round if you want to, but basically what you're going to want to do is there is three different lander locations around the map where the lander can be called to and what you're going to want to do is at each of these locations which there is one on basically each side of the map so there's one over near speed cola there's one in the main hub just across from the old phd but now widow's one location and there is also one over on the other side when you come out of spawn if you go to the left you'll find it over through there around the stamina up area so if you go over there guys you want to call in on each of the little computer screens you call the lander over to each area then take the lander from each of those areas back to spawn so there's no real trick you need to get back to spawn if you take it it'll automatically take you back to spawn then you want to go to your next location hit that and then you will be able to just start up the uh, ascension rocket which I'm going to get to soon and that will take off and the, or there's another easter egg you can do but once you've done those three locations dudes you want to head back up to the power location now so if you guys can tell or maybe you can't tell there is now a rocket up in that area and the rocket is facing up you're gonna have to press the green button to actually start this up so you can just go ahead and press that if you have a ray gun or a ray gun mark 2 or I think it's actually any explosive weapon you can go ahead and blow up up this uh, rocket so it, you don't really need any special thing to do this you can just go ahead blow it up doesn't really change anything you can blow it up you don't have to but you can just go ahead blow that up that's a little Easter egg as I did in the gameplay but that's really about it for this map guys um, if you guys have any other questions about this map make sure you do tell me in the comments section and guys if you haven't checked out my origins ultimate guide or any other ultimate guide they'll be linked in the description of this video so go check them out guys but without further ado make sure you like subscribe turn on notifications and stay up to date with all my content but anyway guys i'll see you guys in the next one and peace out